Hello, we're setting up the Executive Pro theme by Studio Press. This is video 5, setting up the footer widget area. Now, if you look on the Studio Press site, at the bottom of the um, Executive Pro demo page, there's this footer widget area here. Now, how do we set it up? On the site I'm doing at the moment, there's nothing in the footer there. So, what you need to do, the first one we're going to do, I'm going to do this uh, text, this is called a text widget here, the first one, and it's got a link in it. Now the easiest way to do this is to use, I'm, I always keep a draft post, I don't publish it, I just make a draft post until you click the big blue button there, it, it doesn't get published but you can save it as a draft. So why, why I do this is because I can make things like links easily. Um, so what I do, I just type things in there as I'm making an ordinary blog post and then if I wanted to make a link I would just highlight the text and click insert link and it will let me insert a link. So that's the way. I've, that's why I've done it this way. We've added a link to our bit of text here. If we click the text um, tab you can see it's got the HTML that makes the link work. That's why we're doing it like this, because it's an easy way to make the link work. So we copy that text. And remember, we made it using the visual editor, so we could add the link easily. And then we copy the code using the text tab so that it includes the HTML. Now, we want to paste that into a text widget in our WordPress dashboard. Go to WordPress dashboard, appearance, widgets, and we want to drag a text widget into footer one widget area. And we're pasting that code that we made. I'm going to click the thing that says automatically add paragraphs. I also want to, we'll just bury the <laughs> text from there. You just need some text for the title. I'll click save. So if we have a look now, let's see what happens if we refresh our page. See now we've got that bit there. That's the first one of our three widget areas. That's the Studio Press demo site and this is ours. So we've done the first one. Now what we want to do is add a recent post widget with seven of these recent posts. I think it's eight there, but we'll have a go. Right, so that, that one's finished, footer one. So footer two, we want um, recent posts. So in the dashboard, appearance widgets, available widgets, look for recent posts. And we drag that into footer two. And we'll just put a title of recent posts. And we want, we'll have eight. I think they've used eight on the Studio Press site. So eight recent posts. Click save, and we'll see what happens now. So we'll refresh the page. Go to the bottom. And now we've got the text widget with some text in it. We've got a recent post widget with links to our recent blog posts and they've also used search and tags so we'll add those widgets so that's footer two we've done we've done footer one footer two now we're doing footer three and we want the search widget so look for search drag that into footer three we'll just put a title of search we'll put search put whatever you want in there, click save, see if that's worked, refresh our page, there we go, we've got the search box and they've also got a tags widget, so if we look for tags, tag, I'm not sure if that's the one we use, but we'll try that one. Tags. Let's 
see what we've got now. Refresh the page and tax. These will you'll only in recent posts you'll only see recent posts if you've made some blog posts. So you'll have to make some blog posts before you can use that widget. And the tags are the same. If you haven't assigned any tags to any of your blog posts, then you won't see anything by adding these. But that's how it's set up on the Studio Press site. Well, that's all you need to know. And that's the Executive Pro footer area uh, setting up the widgets. And what we did, we went to our WordPress dashboard, Appearance, Widgets. And then we dragged widgets from this side into the footer 1, footer 2 and footer 3 widget area. You've got to start with footer 1. You won't see the other two until you put something into footer 1. So put something into footer 1 first, then move on to footer 2, then move on to footer 3. If you start with footer 3, you won't see that until you've put something into footer 1 and footer 2. Thanks for watching and bye for now.